Income tax 2023-2024 interest income. Get ready and some coffee because we need to save some money for vacation with the help of income tax preparation 2023-2024. Most of this information can be found in the line instructions section of the form 1040 instructions tax year 2023, which you can find on the IRS website at irs.gov, irs.gov. Looking at the income tax formula, we're still on line one income. Remembering the first half of the income tax formula is in essence, a funny income statement, a normal income statement having income minus expenses resulting in net income, the tax income statement having income minus different types of deductions resulting in taxable income as opposed to the net income. We're focused in on the income line, remembering that for taxes, income is basically bad. So we would like to have things that are exempt from income. So the question is often, do we have to include something in income or not? And if we do have to include it in income, could we possibly tax it at more favorable tax rates as opposed to ordinary income uh, types of tax rates? So those are the two main questions we often ask when we have these scenarios with relation to income line items such as interest income. This is the first page of the Form 1040. You can see here in the income section, we have the tax exempt interest and the uh, taxable interest that we'll be focused in on. This is a Schedule B. If your interest income is, is above a certain threshold, you might have to file then the Schedule B providing more information about this type of income for interest and dividends. This is the 1099-INT, which is typically the form that will help us to drive the type of interest income that we have to report. So interest income, therefore, is usually fairly straightforward because the financial institutions have to provide this information because they're being pressured by the government, right? So the financial institutions, usually big banks and other types of financial institutions, they, in order to keep their leverage, the IRS is basically saying, hey, do you want to stay in business? Well, if so, then you have to give this information to both the person who's receiving the income and to us. So both we and the, I, and the IRS have, in essence, this 1099 information. If we do not report what's on the 1099 on our tax return, we will almost certainly get an audit uh, type of situation because the machine, the computer can kind of pick that up, right? So the most relevant lines are typically going to be the uh, interest income up top. We've got early withdrawal penalty. That's not typically going to be the case, but if there was an early withdrawal situation, then you could have that if there's like a retirement plan or something. Interest on U.S. savings bonds. So you might have interest subject to that might have tax benefits related to it. That's one thing that the government can do to try to encourage people to be buying government debts, right? They can basically... Uh, give a tax advantage and that will uh, incentivize uh, investing or loaning in essence money to the government and, as opposed to other business. You could have withholdings, although that's probably not as common on the 1099 interest as like 1099 R's for distributions from a retirement plan or a W-2 form, for example. Investment expense, foreign tax paid, if there's foreign tax applied, foreign country or U.S. territory, tax exempt interest. So if there's exempt interest, again, line eight, special private activity bond interest, market discount bond premium, bond premium on treasury obligations, uh, and so on. Now note, if you have more of an unusual kind of situation, meaning you have some boxes checked that aren't the norm, then you can look at the instructions. And if you don't get the instructions from a client or from the forms that you receive, you can go to the IRS website and look up the, uh, the the form and then scroll down and find the instructions, which could give you more detail about, for example, each of the boxes, which will help you to then drill down further on any kind of research you might need to do from there.